Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I am very much thankful to Almighty Father, to his appointed son, our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo C. Kibaloy, for this great honor and privilege to testify before you of the Almighty Father's goodness in my life. I am Sister Demi Gubon, one of the grateful scholars of our beloved pastor in his foundation, which is the Children's Joy Foundation, who has remained faithful and steadfast in following the footsteps of the appointed son. I was brought here in the kingdom by my parents in the year 1994 and was baptized in the water in the following year. I was 13 years, years old then, and I'm very grateful and thankful that of all the children in the world, I am one of those who has been called and chosen to be with the Son and to walk with the Son in this spiritual journey. I thank the Almighty Father for the strength, for implanting with deep within me the spirit of faithfulness so I may be like the appointed son in commitment, dedication, and loyalty who will stand what is right and will choose to endure up to the end. Praise the Almighty Father. As a child, I loved to watch the movie depicting Jesus Christ's crucifixion every Holy Week. And I would always cry and pity Jesus Christ after watching it. I said to myself, if I had been with Jesus Christ during his sufferings, I would really help him carry his cross and stop all those bad soldiers who beat him up. And I realized that that wish of mine came true. Now I am with the modern Jesus Christ, our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo C. Kibaloy. I belong to the mighty army of goodness who will defend him and stand for him, who will never betray him, but will remain loyal to him no matter what. Praise Almighty Father. I began to have knowledge about the words of the Almighty Father when I was 12 years old. My parents were televiewers of our beloved pastors, are of Truth Telecast. They were baptized in the year 1994 and later on became one of the KLC leaders in our place. As soon as my eyes were opened to the essence of following the Almighty Father's will, what overpowered me was the intense desire to serve Him and be with the appointed Son as long as I live. All I want is to be used in His growing works. After school, I would feel incomplete if I wouldn't be able to visit the worker's house, that I would spend my weekends there as I love being with the full-time miracle workers of the kingdom. And when I reached high school, I loved, that love grew bigger. And uh, visiting the workers' house at the, uh, at the moment um, didn't satisfy me anymore. I wanted to stay there all day and participate in the kingdom activities. I lost love for my studies. Then the time came and I didn't want to go to school anymore. When I was in third year high school, I told my parents that I would like to stop schooling as I would like to just focus on kingdom activities. And I explained to them that when I go to heaven, the Almighty Father would not ask me of my degree, but of what I have done for His glory. For me, to serve the Almighty Father is my simple but greatest desire. Praise the Almighty Father, they just supported my decision. And since I didn't have any plan for myself, I didn't know that the Almighty Father has prepared a greater plan for me. His words in Matthew 10, 39, which says, He that findeth his life shall lose it, and he that loseth his life for my sake shall find it, was fulfilled in my life. When I decided to leave school, when I decided to live the worldly life for him, he gave me more than I ever asked for. He sent me to one of our prestigious schools here in Davao City, our very own Jose Maria College. I finished the course of bachelor in Bachelor of Arts in English and took up some education units which made which enabled me to become a teacher He even even sent me to Cebu City to pursue my master's degree Major in teaching English language and literature and as, and was able to graduate last 2011 praise the Almighty Father It is a great privilege for me to be one of the educators of JMC and JMC IS Cambodia to help the appointed son in molding young children to become upright, disciplined, and righteous individuals. I am overwhelmed for the Almighty Father through his appointed son has not just given me an excellent education, he even sent me to different places in Asia 
places which I only saw in the map during my childhood. It's really amazing that I have already stepped on those places, and I am really thankful and grateful to the Almighty Father through, this, through His appointed Son for these privileges. I thank the Almighty Father that He called me and my family during the time when the ministry is not this prosperous, the time when having enough food and sleep was such a challenge. But that did not weaken my faith to the Almighty Father. I witness how the Almighty Father has blessed the ministry year after year. I also witness how the revelations of the appointed son have come to reality. And since I was young then, a typical hard-headed teenager, I always undergone chastisement. But I am very thankful to the Almighty Father that I grew up under the care and teachings of the appointed son. I looked at those chastisements and love as love and care and not as punishment. For the Almighty Father disciplines the one he loves. The more I got rebuked and corrected, the more my, life, my, my commitment and dedication grew deeper and stronger, and the more I was refined. With the teachings of our beloved pastor, I understand that it is just normal for the children of the Almighty Father, whom he loved to undergo trials and hardships, to be proven genuine. And it is written in Revelation 21.7 20, that, he that overcome it shall inherit all things, and I will be his God, and he shall be my son. Nobody is exempted to that, even me. But every time I encounter any trial, huge trial that could break my heart, I always count my blessings. I always count the grace and the love of the Almighty Father that gave to his appointed son. Then I realized that I had no reason to quit, for if my burden is as big as this cathedral. The love of the Almighty Father is as big as the universe. So I don't have any reason to surrender. We sons and daughters of the Almighty Father are created to win and not to lose, just like our model, our beloved pastor, Pastor Apollo C. Kubaloy. Praise the Almighty Father. Many of my friends and my relatives told me that my life is a waste and I have a degree and I'm cap capable to earn, to earn money. And they said that I would have enjoyed my life while still living in this world. But for me, if the world can offer me pleasure and satisfaction, then the Almighty Father can offer me salvation and eternal life. <laughs> for what shall it profit a man? If he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul, what I am preparing for is not my future here on earth, but my life after I leave this world. The true wasting of life is engaging your life in worldly things and not helping uh, and not heeding the call of the Almighty Father. The true treasure can't be seen in the world, but in heaven, where the genuine sons and daughters of the Almighty Father will dwell forever. There is no richer than the one who inherits the kingdom of heaven, just like the appointed son. <laughs> Above all, I thank the Almighty Father for this great privilege, for bringing me closer to him through, this, through his appointed son, through the pastoral ministry. Here, we are taught and nurtured by the son to be dignified women of this generation who are no longer ruled by carnality. As I follow the footsteps of the Son, I learn how to become strong in the Spirit, to walk by faith, to become an overcomer, and to become a daughter whom He can send to the world, who will stand firm to His will, committed and dedicated to Him alone. I have decided to be like the appointed Son. I have decided to be available and to be used by the Almighty Father for His glory. I have chosen to be a vessel of His honor. Just like my model, my mentor, and my inspiration, Pastor Apollo C. Kibaloy. I always offer my will to the Almighty Father. My heart is fixed. My mind is made up. I will do the Father's will no matter what. Praise the Father. It is undeniable that the kingdom nation is growing bigger as the time passes. And the people who have been enlightened are being ushered in bringing with them their families and children. 
And I thank the Almighty Father for the entrustment He has given me through His appointed son, Pastor Paul Shikibaloy, to be one of the workforce in Kingdom Children Growth School. Pastor strongly believes that the children are the future of our nation, especially the Kingdom Nation. He advocates teaching and nurturing our future generation with love and good values that they will grow to be the, to be the leaders leading this nation in the fear of the Lord. Thus, it is such a great privilege to be entrusted with this endeavor to the, through the KCG, KCGS or through the Kingdom Children Growth School, not only in one country, but all over the world, making sure that every child we're in the, we're in the king, here in the kingdom is well nurtured, well nurtured, not only physically, but spiritually until they grow in deep and full understanding of the Father's will and become bold in their commitment and dedication, just like the appointed Son of God. Pastor is not the man others painting him to be. I can never thank the Almighty Father through his appointed Son for everything that he has done in my life. And with all these victories, I give back all the praises, glory, and honor to the Almighty Father, our Lord Jesus Christ, the creator of all, through his appointed Son, and King of the new creation, Pastor Apollo Sikabalai. Praise the Father.